Chat's yet. still going. I'm keeping everybody updated. Hey, we're back. Are we back? Are we? We're back? Yeah, we're back. Hey. What's up? I don't know what. I lost internet. Hey. I think part of it is that it's like 110 <laughs> degrees in LA right now. And like. Is it really? I, I feel like the temperature is like fucking everything up. Like losing power and stuff. We're going to be. We're getting hit with. A, I looked at the radar and we have like the other half of the state was covered with a purple, like in a huge purple uh, cloud. So we're about to get hit with like a big old thunderstorm, they think. This Hail and shit, lightning. Exactly thing. what Twitch was intended for it was a bunch of old white guys talking about the weather. <laughs> well, the, I, the one of my friends today, like he uh, has like the Tesla where you can look at your phone and it tells you the temperature inside the car. Uh -huh. uh, and he was telling me, he's like, right now my phone says it's 150 degrees in the car. Oh, God. Yeah. That is fucking insane. It's, yeah. He needs to get a new thermometer in that car. The <laughs> former fat guy in me is just screaming at that. Just the idea of thighs touching each other in 150 degree weather. Oh, my well, God. How big are your dicks? Who has the biggest dick? That's a question. Uh, how big are your dicks? Fun offline again and measure real quick so we don't get booted. We'll we'll do a, a dick measuring at a hundred thousand subs. <laughs> yeah, uh, the screen is small. I already put mine that. in my mouth. But... Oh yeah, yeah. All right, did I fuck it up again? I don't know. It's 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 streaming weird. It's like happen? showing. A... OBS somebody like, just said not a fun program. Somebody just said abolish capitalism. We're gonna abolish capitalism at a hundred thousand subs. So call oh, everybody. Really? There you oh really? Okay, now it looks pretty good. Um. I'm in. Yeah, we could do that. Hundred thousand. We abolish capitalism. Yep. So, is, what 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 are we going to replace it with? Do anything? Anarchy. Yeah, but we already wrote that. Well, we'll sketch how that doesn't work. Another capitalism. We'll just replace it with another capitalism. <laughs> right. Yeah. New capitalism. We're so, going to say like new we capitalism. Sketch about how that's the bad idea. <laughs> what was the budget for Hippo in the city? Like three hundred k. What would you say? <laughs> like, what do you think, that's a good question. What do you think is the highest budget sketch we ever did? Well, what the about the submarine for that submarine sandwich sketch? Wasn't that kind of nice? That was pretty awesome. Yeah. I, I remember that was, drugs. Oh, Civil War on Drugs. Because it's long. Well, I would say that's a movie. Highest budget per like time. You know, like like submarine's pretty good because it's short and we had a whole set an elaborate though. set. What about the space uh, space potatoes, the astronaut mess sketch? Yeah, that was a pretty elaborate set. Because we had the thing, we were all sitting sideways in that contraption. That man, that was fun. That was a cool sketch. Opus? That was was that? No, that's that was green cream. screen. Yeah, that was. It's just standing in rooms, isn't it? I actually think the fuse stuff costs more money because we had to physically build most of those sets. Right. Like, yeah. We There's a lot, a lot on location and green yeah. screen when we went to IFC. Yeah. Good point. And um. I can't remember what I was thinking. Well, why did I think Genie was expensive? Is that just because it was expensive as far as Sam's time? <laughs> it's concerned, like, it's, he spent a lot of time getting painted blue, like, six yeah, different I, times? That took a long time to do that. But it, yeah, right? I don't think it was expensive. Why is everyone keep saying Jack Black? Jack Black. What is all this Jack Black? Because he started telling that's that, where it cut off, and so everyone wants to know what the rest of the story oh, was. Oh, it wasn't that great of a story, but basically, uh, yeah. we were talking about- Well, make it, it make it really cool. Okay. I also so, said in the chat that Jack Black killed Zach. That's why the that's why the <laughs> thing went down. So it's, your, so it's Trevor's fault. Now, I, I auditioned for uh, Tropic Thunder, kind of knowing that the role I was reading for was supposed to be Jack Black's. So I tried to do it differently. And when I went into the audition, and I did it my way. They were like, "Okay, cool. Now can you do it like Jack Black?" <laughs> but um, which so I was just like very is very defeated. But the other weird thing about that audition, which is almost interesting, is that uh. I'm in there and I do the audition. I mentioned that I'm from Watertown, South Dakota. And I'm doing this, I'm in LA doing this audition, right? And I go in the room and I do my whole thing, you know, do the thing. And then you look in the camera and they ask where I'm from. And I said, Watertown, South Dakota. One of the ladies oh, running the auditions, like, my husband's from Watertown, South Dakota. And I fucking knew him. He was like an acting teacher. <laughs> so that was weird because there's not very many people from Watertown, South Dakota working in Hollywood, you know? So, and I'm not either. I was just there. So. <laughs> 
Which whitest kid sketch do you think is the most relevant today? I'd say um, the Clint Webb. Mm, yeah, Webb, pretty good. I was going to say presidential props. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you're not wrong. That's a good. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I that's don't know. another sketch. I I never got. I just I don't like it. President you know, like props? No. Huh. Yeah, I tried. I promise. <laughs> You tried like it's the wire. <laughs> I did. Just tried. Be, uh, oh, tried that to get sketch. Into it. Gave it four episodes. We're, that sketch where I'm the bus driver and Sam and Trevor are talking about like the problems with capitalism and socialism and stuff in the back of the bus. Doesn't that kind of maybe have some uh, application? Sure. I'd say yes. yeah. somebody keeps saying race war. They're probably right. That's pretty, pretty dead on. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Most of our sketches are more relevant today than when we made them. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, God. Yeah, because we just wrote everything being fucked up and things just got more fucked up. <laughs> That's the burden of being ahead of your time. <laughs> oh, God, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just threw out the, the stomach elves sketch. What is that? That's the most, the most relevant, relevant one? That is the most relevant. <laughs> oh, no. Here's the most relevant sketch. The one where the guy becomes the robot out of Comet. The confetti, the confetti baby sketch. Remember that, that one, one? That one was one where I was like, all right. All right sure, guys. <laughs> I was just, we were, we were coming ride. up with sketch ideas. Once I was looking up the scene, I just went confetti. And then, like, someone's like, yeah, we can try that. I'm like, what, what is it? <laughs> I just said it worked. That's not how our writing worked. It was like, hmm. Uh, boom apocalypse. We're like, yeah, we could try that. Oh, sure. <laughs> Is that a boom thing? Apocalypse. I don't know anymore. <laughs> All right. People keep talking about manatee finger bang. It was mm, Sam was yeah. the manatee. Yeah. That one actually is based off of a true story. Oh, you know what I remember about that is uh, <laughs> we would do that one live where you would just like yeah. take your shirt yeah. off and be laying on the stage and, you know, being the manatee. And I remember yeah. our costume guy matthew you know he they're like frantically working a week ahead of us you know like when we're shooting and i remember it was like the day we were going to shoot manatee and he showed up he's like i have been working so hard on this manatee costume you guys are gonna love it and he brought out this elaborate like felt manatee cloth outfit and it was like oh no like we didn't talk about this like it's really just about sam's body in the makeup, remember? And he was like devastated yeah. that, like, really, we didn't use the, the we didn't use his wardrobe. What? On the other hand, that's totally on him because you're he supposed to clear that stuff. Like, that's not right. our fault. Yeah, you're supposed to ask us, but yeah, you don't just go rogue and like <laughs> build stuff with the show budget and build an animal. No, you're totally right. That's like man hours that we were paying for that could have gone towards yeah. something else. <laughs> yeah, we're not the asshole. Is that the year we also did Shell Shot? So was he? No, that no, was the year after before. I think that was season, Manatee was season two. Two and Shell Shot was three. Yeah, Shell Shot we wrote for two. What I also remember about that Manatee sketch is that they, uh, I, I think it was the makeup department was like, all right, he's got to have barnacles. So they they like uh, glued uh, Cheerios onto my body. It was like a big yeah. part of the process. Yes. From gluing remember that. Cheerios onto my skin. That was a request from you, though, because you were sweet on that makeup girl. <laughs> I remember that being a weird... That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Have we seen the $600 Season 2 WKUK DVD? I don't know what you're talking Yeah, about. somebody... Uh, I don't know. I saw someone post about it. But, yeah, so there's a few bootlegs out there, and, like, when I, uh, a few months ago, I posted something about on my Facebook page, I think about how we did started doing the Zoom stuff and, or it was about how we were going to start selling t-shirts or something. And some guy who I had experiences with and uh, yeah. was uh, not the brightest, he uh, said, uh, um, he's like, hey, check out what I just got. He posted, like, he's like, I just bought this. It finally came in the mail. And it was like a Whitest Kids Complete Series Blu-ray. And he didn't say how much he paid for it, but I said, that is definitely not real. He was like, what? It's like, so there's a lot of like bootlegs and shit out there. And uh, yeah, I don't know. But I, I saw the $600 thing somewhere. Someone said, uh, what the fuck happened? I'm Audi. Fuck this. Yeah, I was looking at that. That one hurt. That one hurt. Wait, really? Yeah, oh, I think he, he needs to just refresh his page. Oh, yeah. 
Um, oh, sometimes it helps to tell people just to say refresh in the chat because sometimes it, uh, they'll just lose stuff for whatever reason. When I first read that, I thought like he would just saw how old we were. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, these what guys the look fuck? like fucking shit. I am out of Oh my fuck god. This. god. Is that what happens when you get older? That puffy stuff? Get the. Ah, oh, fuck that. <laughs> hey, uh, someone said, Trevor, how would you solve COVID 19? That's a quick answer, right? Oh, yeah. I would, um, I would, you know, those robots that they have uh, from uh, MIT, those ones that we always see them like kicking and stuff like that. You do the somersaults and stuff? Yeah. I would. Yeah. Give those guns, type in everybody's DNA. Basically just say, like, if you see someone on the street, you shoot them dead, and then everyone has to stay inside for two weeks, and then we'd be done with everything. be great. I'm into it. I mean, you, you have to rule through fear. But you know it's what would definitely way, happen? Way people respect you. Two weeks would be over, and we would be like, all right, time to turn the, the robot dogs off. Right. And they'd be like, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Oh, they, they, they don't turn off. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, you didn't ask me if the, if the, if the problem was going to, I was going to make it worse. You just asked how I would fix yeah. COVID. That would yeah. fix COVID. Right. That would fix COVID. Yeah. It's not your responsibility to turn off the killer robot army. That's not, that's, that's not that's on you. Successor's job. That's a fucking next guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's his problem. Timmy, how much prep do you put in prior to DMing a D and D session? Thanks for the extra experience. Uh, you know, uh, before we do it, I, 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 the night before, like the the Friday before, I'll like sit down and kind of write out some ideas, and the day before, maybe I don't know, kind of write down what I want to happen, or kind of like at least get a general idea of the things that could be drawn in, and because uh, you know I was going off of like a little adventure module first, and it's gotten so far afield that now I'm. I've never done my own adventure thing before, so I'm trying to figure it out because obviously I want to give the guys space to just be insane, but also we don't want to just evolve into just each one of us going around in a turn saying the most fucked up thing we can think of. <laughs> so, Someone That's, said, what do you guys think about the current state of stand-up? They're not um, doing it. On <laughs> <laughs> hold. They, they stopped. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually uh, was doing stand-up off and on for for years and uh, helping run a comedy festival. And I decided, like, I'm going to do no stand-up this year. And I said that in February. And then, like, a month later, like, it just stopped anyway. <laughs> and the monkey paw did this. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. I was like, yeah. Because I was doing, you know, enough where I'd, like, go do little tours throughout the year and stuff. And it just I got kind of tired. And so this year, I'm like, ah, I'm going to take a break. <laughs> I was just getting back into it. It sucked. Were you really? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, like that... just getting my shows and like getting booked on stuff and like. Ugh. I remember actually the last show I was booked on was uh, the night of the uh, um, the Democratic primaries, and apparently everyone was so upset that uh, Joe Biden won that like no one came out to the stand-up show. It was it was Blair. Oh, Soki's show. They were mad at Biden. Mad the Biden one. Yeah. Yeah. Who do they want to win? Uh, Bernie. Bernie. Uh, Dream comedian to work with. Oh man. Oh, you guys know what I've been watching, Trevor? I meant to ask you. Have you been? Do you, you have HBO Max? I do. Have you seen all the Alan Partridge shows on there? Yeah, no. they put everything on There's that. like four Alan Partridge shows, and one of them is came out last year. It's like if Alan Partridge was a guest host on the Today Show, and he was just fucking terrible oh. at it, and it is oh, so awesome. fucking funny. Oh, yeah. It. He's like the, the temp host that starts out. Yeah. And it's, he's, it's I've, I've only like seen a... the first episode, but it was like incredible. I rewatched I'm Alan Partridge this week. I just watched uh, a movie that he's in that Michael Winterbottom does called Greed. I haven't that seen That was like, it's like billed as a comedy and it's not the funniest movie, but like, it's a, it's a, it's a cool movie. It's interesting. Hell, there's a couple good questions coming by. Somebody said, how many Nick Addicts did we build? Did we just have one? I don't know. I, I hope you guys all weren't using the same one. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, so, Pretty COVID, so. yeah. On that note, uh, 
on that note, somebody says, uh, someone else asked, what's the coolest uh, Whitest Kids prop? And like, and do we still, does someone still oh, have it? Oh, I think I have the coolest prop. Cool. Let me see if I can do you have it? Oh, nice. I have the hippo head, which is That's pretty cool. rad. And you have Weird the Stripper's breasts. Yeah, the fake boobs. Yes. I have Weird the Stripper's tits on a, Some, what do they call that? I, I never know what to call that. The, when you put the well, hunter mounted, you, you have them taxidermy. Yeah. Right? It's mounted on the, the wooden panel thing. I have yeah. her tits on like that wooden trophy. I think you just say mounted. Mounted. Okay. It's, I'll say that from now on. Who has the show? Someone has a show Sean storybook, right? Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. I used to long John's? I, I sold it in an auction. I think for the uh, to help raise money for the the marathon, either that or it was I, a, a. I couldn't find uh, fun thing for a failed movie. Oh, sorry. I couldn't find the coolest prop, which is the Obama plate. It's in the house somewhere, and I will find it. Wait, uh, if I I can get if you mine, have yours, but, but Sam and I want to show it. Will, will that get us in trouble? No, yeah. I don't think so. Oh, look at that. I think mine is the one in the show, and yours is the typo. Yeah, mine's the one they were like, is it pizza bagels or pizza bagel? And oh! Like, pizza bagels. I grabbed the, the weird one. And is yours just Wait. like a block of wood? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, are we allowed to show the Obama plate? I don't know. There's booty in it. I can't. Is we there can, booty? You guys want no, Obama? there's booty. Like, I can't. There's, the Statue of Liberty's booty is in it. I can get to the Obama plate. Yeah, but I know you can get it, Timmy. We're trying to figure out if we're going to get kicked off. Twitch. Yeah, we. No, no, no. We I can get one. Yeah. Well, did I'm that just catch air? Well, maybe put no. some tape over the. the no, you can't put tape. You know, we should just put it on YouTube because you can show that on YouTube. But maybe let's not risk our. Okay. The, and right. that sketch didn't air on TV, did it? No. 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 Because it was. <laughs> It wasn't that funny. Uh, <laughs> right. This is PlayStation kinda... versus Xbox. Uh, Trevor and Timmy have Xboxes. Zach and I have Playstations. But, but I'm going to do the... PlayStation for PlayStation 5. I'm, I'm going to leave Xbox. Yeah, I'll probably. that's probably what I would you do, gotta, too. PlayStation has all the best exclusives. Yeah, they do. I but, you know, back a, a, long, a while back, we all had 360s and would play, you know, Call of Duty and stuff together. That's <laughs> Call of Duty 3. Yep, a lot of that. That was fun. We would like. I mean, there was a few times where we kind of had meetings playing, where we were like we were talking about like stuff while all playing, you know. Fun. Yeah. Uh, who was the hell no lady? I I have no idea. She was great though. She was. She was funny. I'm gonna. It's I'm gonna original. Go here. I'll be right back. All right. It sounds like Timmy is the one feedbacking. Am I? Hello, hello, hello. Wait, that's not going to help. What did Trent Reznor do? Uh, he made some incredible music. Uh, Are they asking what he did about the sketch? Like, why did we go in on Trent Reznor? I mean, because it's funny. Why did we go in on I, I love Nine Inch Nails. I'm, I'm, I, we like them. I know every uh, Sublime song on bass. What is that from? That's from the end of the Trent Reznor song. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sublime does suck. Someone keeps asking, "What yeah. would, really what bad. would whitest kids look like if it was on Netflix?" I don't even know what that means. What would it look like? It would. Look I don't know. Like... Cancelled after two seasons, <laughs> right? Yeah, isn't that what Netflix does? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, not finished. <laughs> yeah. I know I'm in the left ear. I don't know why I'm I'm coming in in mono, guys. I wish I could change it. I don't know how. Stop coming in my left ear. I'll try. Sublime <laughs> is fucking sick. What? <laughs> yeah, you're uh, you're wrong, guys. Sublime is the shit. Suck yeah. my dick, Zach. Dude, I I have a I have a ska podcast, and I say Sublime sucks. I mean, come on. <laughs> Although They're I terrible. will say Sublime has one song that I do really like. It's like a guilty pleasure that I really. I don't practice that. That one. No, um, <laughs> it's called uh, Bad Fish. There's a tiny switch on the back of the mic. Let's check it out. I don't think that's what it is, but uh, is it a little. Uh, no, there's no switch. Different there's no switch. Um, my brother just pointed out something funny about uh, what it got to me, where uh, the lyric is uh, in it. Uh, I don't cry when my dog runs away. Yeah, fuck it's you. Like, 
Yeah, hey, maybe you should care about your dog and stop yeah. doing so much heroin. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a Nate, Nate Brown original right there. That's a good one. Oh, man. That is, that's good. Does my that's brother good. still make music? I don't think he does. Can Timmy cover WAP? You know, I finally, uh, you don't say it WAP. You say it one WAP, right? I don't know. I, but no, I can't sing, so I won't cover it. But it's a good song. I like What's how you're correcting them talk? when they wrote WAP. You like, you did it wrong. <laughs> well, I was correcting myself because I thought you're supposed, how, you, how are you supposed to pronounce that? I don't know. Are you supposed to say the whole song name? Will the show yes. ever be put on Netflix or Amazon? No. No, it won't. What is going on with Darren's life? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Why does Trevor have a green screen if he never... I'm going to read all the questions. Why does Trevor have a green screen if he never uses it? I don't oh, know. I that was is a great a green... question that we've all asked Trevor many times. <laughs> yeah. It's really a... funny how it started out as the quarantine show. Yeah. He was starting out the YouTube channel and then it just like turned into a D and D show with his friends. Yeah. And I've kept why, up. Uh, why weren't Zach and Darren in the Trevathon? Because they weren't a sucker like me and Sam. I feel like we weren't in LA or something, right? <laughs> Were you not? Yeah. I mean, yeah. And I, I don't know. I think you asked me to come do it, and I, I couldn't for some reason. I don't know if I was like on vacation or something. Yeah, you, you probably oh. both said no. Yeah, which is why I got to go. I no. Said no. I would have said yes. <laughs> I wouldn't have said no. I would have totally gone on. And then I called Timmy. Yeah. Yeah, right. I was going to say, like, well, they must have said no because that's why I got for it. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's not in the left ear because the mic is not straight or centered. Okay. It's coming through one channel. Darren, Zach said no. <laughs> Timmy said yes. And then Trevor was like, I guess I'll ask Sam. <laughs> and Sam why? got probed, right? Yeah, they put it's a not on the Trevathon. That was later. Are you guys excited for uh, Elder Scrolls 6? It's like, I mean, I don't know. What's it? 2024? Like, yes, 2024 is going to be great. Hey, we got to 5,000 followers. Fuck yeah. Where, where, where can oh, I see awesome. that at? Cause I, do I need to start lubing up or anything? How many people uh, are in the chat right now? Can we see that? 1,100. Really? That's how many people are watching. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah. Users in chat. Yeah, a here's a question I have for the chat. What what would be better for us to do on here? Like, this is fun hanging out, but like, should we do yeah. a game? Should we play Fall Guys? Should we watch sketches and rate them? Should we play Jackbox? Is this enough? I don't know what to do. Do we play Truth or Dare? Truth or Dare? Well, you we yeah. can't really dare anything. All right, because I mean, any, anything we do that's not strictly part of our rules is going to end up in us getting banned. <laughs> Strip <laughs> poker. Down. Exactly. D &D. We oh, should do D&D, &D, right? Like n next time we should no, do D&D. &D yeah, I, yeah. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm probably, I I'm probably thinking what we're all thinking, but we would all probably just like to sit here and watch Trevor do Hitler rap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, yeah, a live uh, performance of like uh, the songs, have Trevor perform a lot of the songs from the show live. Can I do a concert for you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Could you do a what? A concert? A little oh concert. God. Just a little song show. Yeah. How do we? Uh, so how do we link this to my OnlyFans? <laughs> I, I think you just plug your OnlyFans on here. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, I have seen Justin Pearson on Jerry Springer. He did it with a dude I used to know in Philadelphia, Scott Bybin. It was pretty funny. You rather eat poop flavored chocolate or chocolate flavored poop? Chocolate flavored poop, right? I mean, uh, no, I think I'd go poop flavored chocolate. A hundred percent poop flavored chocolate. <laughs> you go chocolate flavored poop like feces. You get fucking sick. <laughs> I was straight. Stay, I'm thinking strictly taste. I would go strictly taste, and I was like, "Well, I like the taste of chocolate." Yeah, one will kill me, yeah, but it'll taste better. <laughs> exactly. Well, but Zach, that's how I always make my eating decisions. So what? That's so different. <laughs> oh, play. Would you rather? That's a good one. Here's the Would deal: the chocolate, the chocolate flavored uh, poop will not make you sick and taste just like chocolate, but the poop flavored chocolate tastes like poop. All right, Who's, right. Here's Who's a poop "Would you rather" it? somebody posted that this is an easy one. Would you rather piss a marble or shit a softball? Shit a softball. Um, 
Yeah, yeah shit off. Off. Would you rather constantly have an erection or feel like you have to shit all the time? Feel oh, like man. you have to sh- well. No, both, both or, annoying. Both annoying. Yeah. How, how hard's the erection? I think I'd go erection because I can I can function with an erection. Yeah, but is erection? Are we talking like pee boner hard? You know, like when you wake up in the morning and it's just like fucking hurts. Like, cause that's not fun. Would you? you know? Would you, ra- would you rather Lord. fuck or suck a dog? <laughs> well, I'm gonna say suck because I don't want to hurt the dog. But I, I mean, it would oh, be worse so for nice. me. Yes, but I wouldn't right. want to hurt the dog. Would you rather dispense ketchup from your belly button or have glow in the dark body hair? Uh, go on the dark body here. I don't like ketchup. Somebody put one up earlier that was like, would you rather have pubes for teeth or teeth for pubes? <laughs> Definitely teeth for pubes. Like, I'd get used yeah. to that in 10 minutes. Pubes for teeth, you're <laughs> fucked forever. Oh, dude, you'd be gagging oh, all the time? Oh, it. God. You'd never oh. be... Trim your teeth. What? You'd trim your teeth. You wouldn't be gagging. You, know. you wouldn't be able to eat food. Would you, would you rather have... AIDS or COVID? <laughs> okay, well, you're rather question. Tough. That's yeah, a but, but I mean, if you have AIDS and get COVID, you're fucked. Is that true? You know? it's well, I mean, AIDS, AIDS ruins your immune system. You know, mm-hmm. so. you rather have AIDS or COVID? COVID. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, COVID. Sure. Because I mean, if you have AIDS, you can get killed by any number of things. You know. But they have drugs now for AIDS. Would you rather be Sam or Zach? Zach. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Would you rather suck chocolate off a homeless man's dick or have a homeless man suck chocolate off of your dick? Uh, that That's a no-brainer. It dep- depends on how my day's going. That's a tough one. That's kind of like a win-win. Undecided. <laughs> Would you rather make Wrecked Season 4 or Wrecked Season 4? Ooh, there's a Wrecked fan wow. for you. Would you rather I, I... punch a child or kiss it on the lips? It's not a would you rather, but I like it. Uh, if you all got put into a human centipede, who would be in the back and why is it Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> but if you think about it, the back is not necessarily the worst. Right, because the back, you only have the mouth, right? Now it's hooked up to your butt, right? right? You want to be the I engine. I haven't seen the sequel, so I don't know. You, know. you want to be the engine or the caboose. You don't want to be one of the passengers. The middle one. But if you're in the back, what you're getting has been digested through five different people. That might well, make it better. on which one you've watched, because part three, there's like a hundred. So, you know. If it's gone through five people, it's just straight cream at that point. Oh, oh yeah, oh but like, God. let's not call it cream, though, because that is not chocolate-flavored poop. <laughs> which Shipley that brother is. is funnier? I bet Mike Snatchers, I bet we know each other. Who? Uh, nothing. Oh, okay. Would you rather go back in time and save Hitler or go back and undo making Miss March? <laughs> oh, God. That's a great question. <laughs> that is a great one. That's funny. Favorite horror movie? Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre for me. That's a pretty good answer to that. Yeah. I watch it every year. I, I love that movie so much, I could watch it a million times. The original I Halloween. Need to see it again. It's, it's, the original Halloween I watch every year, too, is so fucking good. It, it's good. It's not like Texas Chainsaw. There's something magical about Texas Chainsaw. It's truly genius. And it's like, yeah. it's weird, man. Toby Hooper it's never made indie, another genius indie, movie. It's independent fucking, you know, just a bunch of weirdos in Texas putting together a film with very little money and just killing it, yeah. you know? like yeah. It's in the cool. sweet spot of the fact that they had such a limited budget made it creepier feeling. Yeah, I mean, because it looks dirty and gross because that's all that money they had, you know? It's a really weird movie and where it's, like, in that slasher genre, but very rarely in the slasher genre do, like, 90% of the characters die immediately and mm-hmm. you're just stuck with one character. Right. And, I mean, really, you could just base the greatness of Texas Chainsaw off of the fact, like, I mean... What would Rob Zombie do if not for Texas Chainsaw? Oh my you know, God. I mean, dude, so- I can't, I can't watch any Rob Zombie movies, man. I keep trying, <laughs> and I just can't get into them, man. I, I make it ten minutes into all of them, and I'm just like, yeah. Do you know what's a really cool horror movie? Hmm. Uh, it's very like early slasher, but uh, have you ever seen? Um, was it Black Christmas? Yes, yeah. Black Christmas rules. That's a good, That's a good one. one. You know what I watched that was really good. Um, <laughs> cool. Is this movie called The Possess- The Possession with Sam Neill? It's from like like the eighty one or eighty three. It's impossible. Yeah. I had to buy it on eBay. I had to buy the. Oh, Blue did you really? It is. I th- so I think crazy. Shutter got it once, but then I missed it. But yeah, I've been wanting to see that one. 
Uh, someone keeps saying yeah. Evil Dead. Yeah, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2. I mean, Evil Dead, know, Evil Dead 2, and Army of Darkness. Um, I just watched all the Phantasms this week, and I would say they do diminish over time, but they are a lot of fun to watch because they got the same actors. It took them 40 years to make all five films, and they got the same guys every time, so it has like a really interesting quality because you see I, the people be older. That second one, I think, is so cool, like visually. Like, Evil Dead 2? Yeah. Like, no, no, uh, Phantasm. Oh, Phantasm. Someone keeps saying Hereditary. Yeah, Hereditary, I think, is the best horror movie in the last 20 years. I've only seen it once, and I, I, I want to see it again. And I didn't see the second one. What? Uh, or not the second watch one, it but again guys and again, dude. Every time you watch that movie, it gets better and better. I'll check it out. Favorite not porn horror, star. But Chris Good one. Jumping. He's got a favorite porn star. Um, favorite porn star? Uh, it's, I don't really know <laughs> porn star. Yeah, let's skip it's it. That guy that- that looks kind of young, but he like is always having problems with his mom. <laughs> <laughs> he has oh, I know that. Mean ways to deal with him. I don't mind that 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 bear costume that keeps uh, going to all those crazy bachelorette parties that aren't real. <laughs> yeah, he's great. <laughs> um, let's see. There's a good one here. It's like is, actually, this is really funny. Someone said Hereditary versus Midsummer. I'm more of a Midsummer guy. Zach's more of a Hereditary guy. You were, Do you, you think were, they're allowed to make porn anymore? Is porn shooting again? What a good like question. Like because of COVID? Probably. You think? That's a lot of a kissing. But you would think, well, there's a pretty good backlog of porn, too. Uh, but <laughs> Is there? How do you know that? I mean, there's lots of porn. I think they just shoot it right out as soon as it's done. Yeah, I don't think they're <laughs> holding. I don't think they're sitting on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys yeah. are right. Yeah, you're right. Um. Someone says chopping mall fucking rules. That's true. But there was a really good would you rather, and now I can't find it. It was about watching your parents fuck or something. I can't remember what it was. It was, it was someone someone just posted something about being living right down the street from Zachary's on Cape, in Cape Cod. Wow. Oh, oh wow. Oh, Crazy. Yeah. The place is, is it, great. It's closed now, right? Didn't it close? So. Probably COVID. No, I mean, <laughs> I think it closed like a year or two ago, didn't it? Probably in March because of COVID. Said, I don't you, know. Where you filmed season three. We, we wrote season two. Or... Two. <laughs> no, we, yeah. no, we filmed all of season three at a strip club in Cape Cod. <laughs> but you know what? I don't blame anyone for like thinking that about us. <laughs> those who don't know, we all, when we were writing season two, we rented a beach house in Cape Cod, and the closest thing that had Wi Fi was Zachary's Strip Club. And so that, and also other reasons, we were ended up right. there a lot. And they had lobster sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the twin lobster special. Yeah, and did you anybody eat the sandwiches there? on the table that the girls were like having their right. bare asses on? Did anybody the, eat there? I didn't eat there. No. Did anybody eat there? No. You guys, hold on. Here's a really good would you rather. Would you rather have a nipple sized dick or dick sized nipples? Wow. <laughs> that is a good one. That's terrifying to me. What? What's? Oh man! You know, I would I go, say uh, dick-sized nipples, and I'd have them removed. Yeah, yeah, you can get surgery. Yeah. Or, or wear like a little bra. <laughs> or, or you could could you coil them up in a bun? You know, like just tie them up with like a like a like a um, a barrette or something. You know, just kind of. I don't know. Boy, that's a horrible image. Like just coil dicks coiled around your breasts. I don't know. I'm it's looking probably- for new art. I'm looking for new art on the Reddit. Mm-hmm. The <laughs> Someone just- keeps saying upload the massage sketch to Pornhub. Sorry, Trevor, I didn't mean to cut you. This one came up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I looked like? What oh, the fuck? That's what you look like. <laughs> really? They didn't add in the indentations on the eyes and mouth there? No, I mean, they did a little, and they added okay. the the ears well i know they added the ears i know i don't have shrek antenna oh, but i think they did a great job i, no, I love it hold on a second i love it man <laughs> sorry dudes hang on here it comes there you go that is funny oh there you go oh pull it over there you go <laughs> oh my god i don't know why it changes the screen when you do screen share i have to like readjust everything how do you do what's the shrek voice it's like the I've never seen Shrek. Don't get, don't get, don't get. Don't get. Eat an onion. I don't know. I can't do it. Ed Ponce knee. Someone did ask. Speaking of that kind of stuff, someone asked a little bit ago, uh, "Who are, uh, what our favorite impressionists?" Trevor, stop screen sharing. Uh, I don't know. 
I always liked Jay Moore's impression of Chris Walken, but that's the only one I can think of. What your favorite never... impression is? Yeah. Yo, mine is uh, Josh Fadem's Lin Manuel Miranda. Oh, does he do one of those? That's great. Yeah. Oh, I want to see that. Speaking of that, uh, Josh Fadem's Michael McDonald video is probably one of my favorite uh, celebrity impressions. Oh, is, is Michael Douglas? Josh Fadem did Michael Douglas? Oh, oh, I thought that's he. He does an impeccable Michael Douglas. Oh, he does. See, I was talking about that really that that uh, that old Michael McDonald video he did. I can with. see that because he has that raspy voice. He can like pull yeah. that off. He does this. It's it's uncanny. Who did the drawing for the popcorn factory sketch? Probably Trevor. Didn't Trevor. I drew that. Yeah. Would you rather film the Invisible Dog <laughs> movie or jerk off a dog? <laughs> That that was uh, that drawing that you did though was not drawn for the sketch. It was just one that you had. Uh, I have a whole comic series with that character that I just <laughs> build notebooks with. Oh man, these things go too fast sometimes. Yes, yeah, some some people keep asking about do we like Norm Macdonald and yeah. yes, yeah. he's like amazing. So funny. Yeah. I, get, I get caught. I don't know if you guys do, but I get caught sometimes in like Norm holes where I'll just on YouTube I'll just keep watching videos with norm mcdonald either being interviewed or interviewing somebody else but have you norm, yeah. listened to his audiobook no it's, it's like one of the greatest things ever man it's I've so it's fucking so funny and he reads it and it's it's amazing oh i'm gonna do either it either write a new shrek movie or star in a new shrek movie oh. I, uh, that's that's tough in how much i would love to do both those things i mean that's like it's 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 like this election it's like i can't decide i like them both so much <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 would you rather have permanent cheeto fingers or always have a popcorn kernel stuck in your throat i mean the popcorn kernel sounds more dangerous yeah yeah i guess permanent cheeto fingers okay if your mom and girlfriend switch bodies and you had had to fuck one of them to switch them back which one would you choose wait what if your mom and girlfriend switched bodies and you had to fuck one of them to switch them back which one would you fuck what an interesting question so like you'd be fucking question. your girlfriend but your mom's mind would be in there or vice versa oh yeah. wow that's a fascinating one i think i'd just leave them <laughs> That's really like, yeah, them, I know. though, isn't it? Like, it I seems mean... like a you guys problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I mean, really, let, let's develop the situation, though, because let's and the person asking oh. the question didn't say this, but let's say that I mean, for whatever reason, it's only your dick can fix the problem. So if you leave, they're stuck. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Moving on. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go soon, guys. I'm yeah, what time to, is it over there? The uh, party pooper. Uh, eleven thirty here. All right. Eleven thirty. Wow. What? So we yeah, yeah. So we've streamed for five and a half hours. No way. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I know. I I think forty one's your year for math, Trevor. I have a good uh, feeling. Um. Yeah. Someone asked. So what? What? What are we going to use this platform for in the future? Like, what's the idea here? We're we're gonna yeah. not do it next week. We're probably gonna shoot a D and D next week, and then are we gonna shoot the D and D on Twitch? Or are we gonna shoot it and cut it? We probably don't want to have it aired because it's just the rolling and stuff like that. It just takes too long. It gets yeah, they don't boring. like the parts that I have to do. <laughs> no, I wouldn't mind no, doing the D and D no. on Twitch. I feel like it would have like momentum. It would be. If we did it live on Twitch, you mean that? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not opposed yeah. to it. No, I, I thought that's what we were talking about for next week. I thought we were going to do that. If you want to see us do D and D on Twitch, let's hear some woos. <laughs> yeah, dude, they woo in the chat. I feel like the D and D things thing works. I would leave it alone and and let Twitch evolve into its own thing. You uh -huh. know, I, I like that idea too. I'm kind of with that. There's a lot of woos right now, guys. Their their woos oh, are right. rolling in. Yeah, well, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> I'm just, here's here's my only thing though, right? It's like it's hard to get everyone on. So if we were to do like a Twitch every weekend or something like that, when would we do the D and D? Yeah. Uh, 
maybe you do D and D. Well, I don't know. Right. Maybe you do two days. Everyone's saying I'm with Trevor, but what did, what did Trevor su- suggest? Oh, he want like is in like do uh, something like, else. On show show, show the edited version of D and D. Yeah, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. Someone is saying, and this is a good point, no D&D here because the chat would be ridiculous. And I kind of... You'd have to ignore the chat if we were doing D&D. It would be like, you watch if you want, but we're not going to like... Maybe maybe we should... uh, But then why do Twitch if you're going to ignore the chat? I think... Because if people are excited, they could watch the whole thing on Twitch and see like warts and all. And then we just edit it and put it up on the YouTube, the final thing. Funny that we're having this conversation on the chat. All right. It's like, you guys excited to watch a Whitest Kids meeting on Twitch? So what? (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Also, let's, I think let's talk about our, our taxes. You guys, we got to get our tax shit in order. Yeah. Hey, uh, someone get our accountant on the phone. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> uh, I just want to throw this out. Is there any way we could turn this Twitch thing into like a multi-level marketing thing or mm-hmm. like a NXIVM kind of like sex cult? Sex yeah. How do we become mm-hmm. the next goop? That's what I want. We should, have a, we should have a password. That every that we only talk about right now, that everybody who is on the first Twitch stream will know, and then it's like an inside joke, and 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 like and, the, and so there's like different levels of of being close to the center. All right, the password you know? is doll liquor. Doll liquor. Doll, doll liquor. Like a Barbie so doll, like doll. Yeah. So like, and and nobody ever tell anyone else what doll liquor means or why we say doll liquor every now and then. But if you're from this. Twitch stream, when you come into other Twitch streams, you can see Doll Liquor and we'll be like, what's up, Doll Liquor? All right. Yeah. Nobody will know and never tell anyone. It's our very own Hail Hydra. Yeah. Into it. Yeah. And, then this, and from here, we will start a cult. <laughs> Hold this on. Will- Let's take one step at a time, Trevor. Don't lay out the whole scheme yet. The Doll Liquors are the most innermost circle of this cult that we're creating. <laughs> it's it's, it's Brock Tune. Yeah. <laughs> you know that reference, Brock Toon. Yeah, wait. What is Brock Toon? I do know that. What is that? It's from uh, the SNL sketch, the the fan club for the guy who played Mr. Belvedere. Oh yes, yes, that was funny. Him. That was a good sketch. Yeah, they call him Brock Toon so that they can like recognize each other. They like yeah. yeah. So when we eventually buy a piece of land and we allow everyone to come and 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 live there, the doll lickers will get the best tracks of land. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They will get right. the most food also. Mm. Yeah. Sure. And, they, and everyone and whoever like has, we'll, we'll give out another password in a couple Twitch streams. That's not as, is not as powerful as right. doll liquor. And like the people with doll liquor can tell those people what to do and stuff. Like Are we going to have to make a doll liquor t-shirt? No. No. Then, yeah, don't ever explain or tell. Yeah. No, 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 we wouldn't explain it. You can make like, a doll liquor shirt, but it has to be an invisible ink. But what what if some bullshit person who wasn't on this stream buys a doll liquor shirt? We'd bullshit think that, person. Well, they, they what if would, one of those bullshit people buys a t shirt from us? <laughs> those fucking assholes. <laughs> 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 and if anybody else on future chats ask what is doll liquor and they keep asking that question just don't tell them to go insane. fuck themselves yeah <laughs> yeah so. that's the only answer fuck you go fuck yourself go fuck yourself. everyone say that exactly yeah that is we, so good if ever if we ever see anyone explaining doll liquor in the chat you will be banned so fucking hard if we ever figure out how to ban people. actually i feel bad because i don't want our chat to be a place where everyone's just yelling go fuck yourself at, at everyone it's i don't want it to be a nasty place i have a spoiler for you about twitch zach oh, no. <laughs> This is all about community. and, and This is that, just proactive. This is us jumping to like being on streaming for two years. It's like, let's just start it, tell each other to go fuck ourselves right now because that's what it ha- what happens. So. Oh, There's already um, people asking about Twitch. Someone that. just said, go fuck yourself, Zach. <laughs> no, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I've been like, right, I I'm feel a- like I've been getting roasted this whole time. I've been called a boomer about a billion times. <laughs> Did you really? You got called a boomer? It's because I don't what know is this a tech boomer? I'll tell you this. Oh, I never want to fucking be the, the tech guy on this Twitch ever again. Like, we got to get Oh, dude, somebody. you should see. When I, I said, streamed, I had like horrible did great. Light, shot yeah. on my fucking Kinect camera. My streams were terrible, but yeah. Yeah, I got I got shit for that all the time because I don't know what to do. Yeah. You know? I don't want to. I say we give a round of applause for Zach. Uh, for I being, don't want this. I don't want this. It's work, though. It's work. It's work. No you good. did it, man. 
It's been yeah, fun too. Some woo woo woos in the chat. That's yeah, someone just said this is unbelievably awesome. I agree. Yeah, give Zach some woos, everybody. No, that's, that's, okay. some woo -woo -woos All right, I'm gonna test out this doll liquor stuff right now. I'm gonna ask okay. what what is doll liquor okay. on the thing. Yeah. yeah. It, it went. <laughs> I, I'm really excited about Twitch now with the idea of, of building like a, a weird fucked up cult. Yeah. <laughs> like Jared Leto style. Have you guys seen the video yeah. of Jared Leto on his cult? Have you seen this? Oh, no. You know, he no. started, a, you know, he, 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 he literally has a cult. Really? really? Yes. Also, I. And not, yeah. not just a pussy posse. A like cult. they, they go out on this retreat. They pay a shit ton of money and he comes out and like freestyle talks to everybody. You can see videos of it on, online. It's like. He actually has a cult. It's weird. I'm we so should watch that, that and that's what we should do. We should do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so bummed that you said talks. I thought you're, he comes out and he freestyle raps. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's Dude, that's a terrible that. band. 30 Seconds to Mars. Oh, that's a I was just going to say, they band. have that music video. I think we all watch it together once and laugh. They're, they have that 30 Seconds to Mars music video where they're like, it's like an ancient China. And then there's like this oh. huge sword fight where everybody's wearing masks. And then at the end of the sword fight, there's only like four or five dudes left standing, and they all take their masks off, and it's just the five members of the band. That's so like, lame, they dude. Beat this whole army. I just love that idea. Like we're the we're a good band and the greatest warriors in ancient China. It's like, yeah, okay. but have you heard the new stuff? Their new stuff's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I saw uh, the the Blade Runner twenty forty nine or what? what, what yeah. Was yeah, yeah. Uh, I like that. Theaters, and it was like a packed theater. And he comes in like an hour into the movie. And when he came on screen, I heard a bunch of people go, oh. Yeah, that's the right reaction. <laughs> yeah. He, have, he had like the weird oh. eyes in that, like robot eyes or something, right? Yeah. Hey, what if, what if we get our cult, like if in a couple of years, if our cult does well and we get it big enough, what if we fucking attack his cult? <laughs> <laughs> right. And cult war. Yeah. Here's a story. Here's a story. We used to go to this bar in uh in new york uh what was it 119 uh-huh that was yeah, right yeah. below lincoln center or, or irving plaza irving, irving plaza. plaza yep mm -hmm. right below irving plaza and i remember um what's that band that jason schwartzman was in phantom planet uh, phantom planet Phantom planet was playing a few shows there and whenever you'd go there usually that's like where the people from the shows were like like uh, would go hang out after they were all there and i remember it was like and I think there was most of us were there, and it was like two hours of Trevor being like, "Let's just go up and start fighting them." Let's, we'll make it. I remember Let's, that. Yeah. Let's just <laughs> fucking fight them, right? Come on, let's do it. I was I serious? Okay, and Super Callous like, Bros. Black Doctor was my cousin's husband. They're divorced. That's why I don't say he's currently whatever. Uh, his name's Leon. He's great. He came up to New York to shoot that with us. What's your most embarrassing sketch? Uh, we could just, uh, I mean, we talked about that one, <laughs> at least for me. Everyone's telling me to go to sleep. Darren, I'm, go to I'm sleep. Gonna go, I'm going to take their advice. Yeah, yeah man. Bye, Darren. Later, buddy. Good night, you. guys. You know, doll liquor to you, my brother. Doll liquor, doll liquor doll to liquor. you. All right. Good, sir. Go fuck yourself. All right. <laughs> I just want to say that. <laughs> I was in, in New York, I waited in line at that Tower Records to meet System of a Down. <laughs> you did? I did. It was before I met you guys. It was right when I got there. And, uh, you know, I... Hold on. So the first thing you do when you get off the bus from South Dakota is you go to Tower Records to meet System of the Down? No, 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 no. That was not the first thing I did. The first thing I did was try to find Moon Ska Records, but they had closed. And then, like, the next week, I saw a Tool show. And, like, the next week, I went to, uh, yeah, I went to a System of a Down signing. So wow. I liked them for, like, two years. You know, I liked their first album, and then that one with the, the we were talking about earlier, the Chop Suey one, whatever, that one was all right. That was the one they were signing. I really like their first album. Anyone uh, fuck with the Grateful Dead? I do. I fuck yeah. with the Grateful yeah. Dead. I like great um, great album. I like trucking. I don't know much more about their music. I like trucking a lot though. I'll I tell you this. Great. That's some that's an Eric Andre thing. When we were I was hanging out with Eric and I wore a Grateful Dead t shirt and he was like, I hate the Grateful Dead. I was like, Oh, <laughs> that that's cool, man. He's like, they fucking suck. He's he's got a lot of opinions about the Grateful Dead. <laughs> I like a lot of the cheesier dead songs. It's like Touch of Grey. I'm like, Touch of Grey is awesome, dude. Touch of Grey is a good song. That song is great. 
France. That's a good song. Grateful Dead are not hot garbage. You know what's awesome? Have you seen that Hulu documentary about the Grateful Dead? It's like a seven, eight part doc. It's uh, fucking no. great. Oh, I should check that Who out. Who was the president when you lost your virginity? Anyone, One of my favorite. Anyone like ICP? I actually went and saw ICP like last year in LA. Oh, how was it? It was like pretty interesting. Like I went because I was, you know, it's they're insane and I just wanted to go right. see it. And they're a clown pass. And I was wondering before I went, I'm with my buddy Ryan, I was like, how many people in the audience are going to be like me, like like voyeurs who are just like, you know, I taking it in? There. Nobody, dude. Everyone there was like fucking juggaloed out. Juggaloed. They were into it. It was pretty crazy. Dude, uh, that's, a a quick, fucking, that's a good cult. That Juggalos is a good are cult. a good cult. They did it they right. They are a good cult. They did it right. Yeah. There's a, a quick little... Which is uh, what we're all about, too. Right. Yeah. Well, Facebook... We're all about family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're like a... Uh, I a do not like ICP, I should say. The chat, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Zach's a juggler. <laughs> uh, there's, the there's a... We were... Uh, a quick little juggalo story I've always loved is we were uh, on a on a tour. It was a promoting Miss March. I remember we were in that bus that had your guys' faces on it, you know? Um, yeah. And we stopped in a – we're in between. We're going – we had going out towards Seattle or something, and we stopped at like a truck stop in like Idaho. And I remember this. It was like a Sunday morning. And we stopped and we went in and ate breakfast at this place. And we were walking out back towards the bus, and there were some kids standing out by the bus. Like, kind of ask what the bus was about, you know, what we were doing. And one of them had, like, ICP stuff drawn over his face. And he was pretty young. He was probably, like, 11 or 12. He had ICP stuff drawn all over his face. And I was like, oh, is uh, are they playing here tonight or something? And uh, he's like, no. He said, nope. And this is on here with permanent marker. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, you know, it was Sunday, so he was going to school tomorrow. I was like, all right, cool, kid. <laughs> he was like... He was like, nope, I'm a fuck up. Guess what? I'm a really bad fuck up. <laughs> but that was, I think it was that tour. There's one year when we were on tour and like, we were like every town we got to, like a, a bus with the hatchet man, with the ICP hatchet man logo was like always in the same town and had played like the night before or the night after us. And I think it was twisted because, is that how you say that? Or do you just say it twisted? Anyways. Because when we played Des Moines in 2013, like, we got to the show, and the night before, they were like, yeah, Twisted was here last night. I'm like, that's so weird. It's like we're on some sort of, yeah. you know. Anyways. Somebody just asked, uh, do you guys like the Toadies? I fucking love the Toadies. Yeah. Tyler is one of my favorite songs that ever. One, that uh, um, Rubberneck, it's a really good album. They, they had the I Promise You song, right? Uh, that yeah. was Possum Kingdom was their big one. Right, but, right. Uh, yeah, I, Wait, I isn't that Possum Kingdom. Kingdom the one that's like, and I promise you? Yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah, yeah, right. that's that. I use the bathroom. Uh, Someone that keeps asking if I like Death Grips. Is that a band? I guess that answers that question. Uh, <laughs> he, he's not sure if they're a band, but he loves them. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Red Vines or Twizzlers, that's a tough one. I go with Red Vines, I think. Red Vines, yeah, I'd do Red Vines. Uh, Trevor, what have you been listening to? Um, I honestly, I listen to a lot of Taylor Swift. Um, I do you like Lover? I, I like, I like uh, Taylor Swift. I, I like um, the Rolling Stones, I listen, I, which is not... I don't, I don't listen to cool, interesting music. I kind of just, I, I listen to a lot of like, I honestly drive around and listen to like whatever is on the radio now because I just sort of like to be aware of like pop culture, what's happening. Does that make sense? You, you fuck yeah. with uh, Casey Musgraves? Uh, wait, I don't know that I know who that is. I also don't listen to a whole lot of music. She's like, she's like a Taylor Swift, like kind of country pop artist. Who's like a little bit in that kind of indie kind of, she, she had a really good album, I think last year. Somebody yeah, she had a really good cover of Spoonful of Sugar from Mary Poppins. She had a great cover of that. Somebody song. asked if I liked Ween and that, besides the Rolling Stones, Ween is my favorite band. My yeah, favorite and, two bands. 
Yeah, Actually, the three of us, when I became friends with you guys, that was like one of the first things we connected about was like, because I was from South Dakota where people don't talk about weed out here. So I was like, have you guys ever heard of weed? And I remember Trevor being like, yeah, we love weed. And we've all been to a couple weed concerts together and stuff. And yeah, they, they, I love weed. There was a moment uh, because I record my albums up in Woodstock where uh, uh, Gene lives. And um, I, there was a moment where I thought it might work out that I could try to get him on a track, but then it went away, and I was so oh, bummed. Oh, man. That would, that would have ruled. Orchid. Uh, yes, I do. I used to see them a lot. Yes. Oh, yeah. But, uh, I pissed. I did not shit. Thank you for asking, though. That's, that's cool. <laughs> there was that time we all five ended up at that wing concert at that outdoor, that old outdoor pool in Brooklyn. That was fun. That was a fun time. Zach didn't wash his hands. For your information, I pulled my pants down to my knees and I shook my dick out. I never touched it. I jiggled it till it was dry and I pulled my pants back up. There's no need to wash your hands when you pee that way. So that's think right. About you're you're, you're asking, you're yes, I do the thing where you wipe your dick off with your shirt, right? And then you go back. I out stopped that. doing that last year. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. If you could bring anyone back to life by fucking the corpse, would you do it? And to whom? That's a good question. Uh, would I listen to your band? No. Because if your band's bad, I don't want to have to go through a whole thing. I don't want to be like, yeah, it's good. It's yeah. awkward. Timmy, are there a lot of roofies? Ooh, do you like Warren that? Zevon? That? Yes. yes. That's what, that's what uh, Excitable Boys... It's one of my favorite albums ever. Uh, someone was asking about uh, uh, Tim Heidecker and uh -huh. uh, his his music's pretty great. I fucking love it. I guess oh, it, yeah? I love uh, it. His, I his Donald Trump out. album is great. He just came out with a song uh, called Fear of Death. In a video and when it came out i heard it and it's it's uh it's all about like being done going out just like uh the chorus is like like i think i'm done growing mm. fear of death uh what is it fear of death has me living or the fear of death keep, is keeping me alive hmm. and so i tweeted out uh this song gets me and he retweeted me hey. it's funny because you get like a good number of retweets and he has like oh. like 50,000 followers, 100,000 followers, and like 10 people liked that. So <laughs> weird. So that retweet of me was worse for my tweets. <laughs> I think that he is like the greatest. I, 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 yeah, his music's like, it's very Warren Zevon, very like uh, Bob Seeger, um, Joe Walshy, which is really fun. Yeah, that's cool. I should check it out. Sounds it's good. It's great. Did you ever watch that Tim and Eric uh, bedtime stories? No, I haven't. It's so good. If uh, someone asks, watch if, a lot of comedy, huh? You guys watch a lot of comedy. I'm like no. real, real picky about it. There's like very yeah. little that I watch, but like I do watch some. Like, like I almost never like any new comedy shows. Like it's weird that I even started that show, Dave. But like everyone kept telling me to watch it, so I watched it. Um, yeah, I just. I never, I hardly ever watch. I mean, like when uh, I watched Nirvana the band because like Sam was telling me for a year, he was like, no, no, seriously, you'll like the show. Like, you know, and then I like fucking loved it. But like, I don't really watch comedy that much. I don't I'm either. Like, when I'm going to watch something recreationally, I watch like, I honestly, martial arts and horror is pretty much what I do. Martial you know? arts. I mean, yeah, dude, I fucking love action like movies. UFC? There's a lot of good martial arts movies. Huh? Oh, like martial arts movies, like Van Damme. Yeah, and no, I, I go to the local karate club and watch children practice. <laughs> Terry's good, man. He's he's got a bright future. Terry, uh. I'm sorry, Zach. What were you saying? Oh, my friend Darnell is asking if I still want the Lady Boy. Uh, I'm gonna pass on the Lady Boy, Darnell. The <laughs> Lady Boy. Someone asked if they made a Whitest Kids biopic. Who would we want to play us? Good question. I want to play all everybody else. I'll I think I would like Zach to play me. I could do it. I have enough yeah. range. I could do it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, let's just say we all play each other. Who should we play then? So, uh, can I be Darren? I think, mm, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I would like to play. I mean, Timmy is a fun one to play. Yeah, you could be me. 
Because the well, voice. None, is, of, none of you have the voice down, though. None of you. Oh, yeah, we all do. We all have the voice. We all have the voice. Yeah. It's just Let's Mickey Mouse. Their, everyone I don't know do you guys. Time. I don't think any of you know how I really talk. <laughs> all right. My Timmy goes like, I guess, well, I went to this, and then, and then this happened, and then I, all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. It's you know the key of like a good impression is having like a like one right. word that you say a kind of like phrase that like kind of includes it. it's really like well yeah. like that well, well, well. I like that <laughs> well they fired me at the ice cream shop <laughs> yeah. what was that the dot where uh, we thought that Trevor's whole Trevor and Trevor Trevor was basically writing a cartoon script about my life and asked me if that was true he's like did you get fired from the ice cream store for diarrhea I was like no but the ice cream gave me diarrhea and I got fired for not going into work because I got drunk so well, I don't know <laughs> for, for 20 years that's what been what I thought the story I, I honestly thought that was the truth and well yeah. because you guys want that to be the truth because you want you want the fucking Mickey Mouse version of me to be real, and it's oh, no. a lot more sad than that, you know. So, <laughs> oh fuck, fucking sorry. No, but I mean, it's, like I honestly don't walk down the street like this, you know. Like I don't do that. <laughs> well, why wouldn't you want this to the story to be real that you know somebody who ate so much ice cream on the first day of an ice cream shop that they had diarrhea? That's like objectively funny. Yeah, but I don't know. I wouldn't want a real person to have had that happen to them because I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Good night. Papa uh, I, I, I guess I don't actively. I don't me, actively I don't hate, I hate my friends, so I don't know how that works. But <laughs> I'm you just kidding. I don't think they hate me. Of course not. No, I just had to say that because I'm like, oh, I don't want people to think that was real. But yeah. anyways. Uh, hey, this so, this new asked, cult huh? is all about love and family. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I already forgot the code word. Doll liquor. Okay. Yeah. You know, Jesus, what if I accidentally kick myself out of the cult by accident? Yeah, just by forget out if you forget that. Talking about uh, uh, watching comedy, I gotta say, like, like with me, like, uh, it's it's hard for me to like get into a comedy, but when I do, it's the best. When you find a comedy that you like and you have ep more episodes to watch, yeah, and, like something exciting about the show it's the fucking best that's a good point yeah because i i don't follow a lot of shows but i told you guys a couple weeks ago we were talking about something else that i really got into the good place and i just like i vibed on that show i loved it followed it week to week and everything but yeah i just, I just don't see i just don't seek it out if a good comedy falls in my lap i like it but i don't seek it out too too hard i yeah. really want to know what you think of this frayed show yeah Actually, you keep talking about, about that show because because uh part of it too is uh it starts out, the starting place of it is uh, a news story that you told me about, kind of, where it's a woman going to the hospital because her husband had a heart attack, and she finds out that he uh, had a heart attack while with a prostitute on a bunch of different drugs with a cell phone up his ass. <laughs> Which, I remember you told me about that news guy that had, like, that same thing happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it, yeah, yeah. It's basically, it's, like, inspired from that. Oh, that's cool. Good night, BJ. I forgive you. Trevor, someone asked, do you believe in the moon landing or not? Um, uh, yes, I think we went, but I don't think it was live. And I think that's what they lied about. And that's why there's inconsistencies. And that's why the footage got deleted. There's an interesting, uh, that's an interesting kind yeah, of middle I don't think they wanted to risk them dying live on television. Like, I think they, it was oh. pre-filmed and they pretended it was live. And that's why there's the conspiracies. Because they were like, what if it's what if it's not solid? They're like, what if they step out and then just they fall through the moon? Oh, what if a goddamn moon man comes up and stand and stabs them? <laughs> yeah, 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 dude, moon monsters. You don't know what's up there. Someone is asking, are y'all gonna keep your online content up when COVID is over? I love the new stuff. I mean, I think the answer is yes, but I live in South Dakota and it's not going away. So, <laughs> so I don't think we have to worry about that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we we're working on so much stuff right now. Like, so we're. Like Trevor and Sam and I are working on a little thing that we want to start adding to the channel it's whenever we can get together and actually film. You know, all of this is to raise money for a, for a movie that we're trying to make. Um, you know, so there's there's a lot we we're we're kind of geared up and activated to do right now. So yeah, yeah, there's there's but yeah. good stuff ahead. For, for and I think well, I think they're asking if the stuff that's up there we're going to leave up there, and I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. I would 
want it all to stay up there. All the D and D stuff, all the weird conversations. Sure, you know. There's there's a link at the bottom <laughs> of the page, and uh, it's it's to our PayPal. And if you want us to keep making stuff, feel free to contribute. Yeah, please. But, um, no. And share. Really Obviously, hoping. sharing with your friends or anyone helps us a lot. Yes. Pleasant I'm I'm more friends. focused on this cult thing. Yep. Uh, right. But I, I, I think I think this could be a, a big. Uh, I think we could turn this world on its head. Just <laughs> right. uh, well, and even when you think about you know when we're trying to like if we try to shoot a shoot a live action movie sometime or if we try to make more stuff, I mean you're going to need crew, and I mean cult people could be a, our cult members could be great crew. You know, we could have a whole st- a studio on the property. That's there you go. and we're all mm-hmm. armed to the teeth. <laughs> and 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 we I like the arms to like- the teeth part. Yeah. And what do we feel about outsiders, guys? Go fuck yourself. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was that that was good. That that was a very good piece of marketing on Darren's part. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's great that like if shit does hit the fan, we have this community to fall back on. That's do, right. Let's get together immediately. Like you can just go to someone's house. Like yeah. everything, let's say everything fucking falls apart. You're on the road, it's like Mad Max. You go to someone's house or bunker. You knock on the door. You just say doll liquor. Hey, they've got water and food, you know. And if you don't say doll liquor, they say go fuck yourself. Yeah. And there will be like people, like there will be doll liquors walking around being like, I heard there's a city of doll liquors where, <laughs> where the, the fog are. <laughs> City of Doll Liquors. That sounds like a... It's a Watertown, rest- South Dakota. <laughs> what, what'd you say? It's Watertown, South Dakota. City of Doll Liquors? No. We're all going to be dead here. It's going to... Yeah. In Watertown, are people wearing masks? Um, by people, do you mean like me and my daughter or like my mom? <laughs> I mean like... If you, That's if I were it. to drive down Main Street in Watertown, South Dakota, will I see people on the sidewalk wearing masks? Well, you won't First see all, people because people. Street. Yes, but uh, my joke. We, we were basically about to make the same joke, Trevor. But basically, uh, no one goes down Main Street here because they all go to fucking Walmart, and that's. <laughs> we at love Walmart, to bitch about small businesses needing support, and then we all go to Walmart. They but, have um, to wear a mask in Walmart, right? Right. Anyway, so uh, to answer your question, not very many. Uh-huh. I would say when I go in a store, you know, like grocery store. 30%. I mean, I went into Walgreens today, The pl- you know, which is a place where sick people go to buy medicine. And I was like one of the only people in there with a mask. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's, but I mean, there's a lot of general uh, consensus here, you know, that it's like the death rate's fake. And then it's all the, you know, the, that's, uh, you know, I've seen people, you know, who I respected being like, where I'm not t- taking a vaccine. I don't want Bill Gates poison in my veins, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's like, mm-hmm. oh my God, just fucking put on a mask. Like, you know, yeah. but it, no, so it's, in short, it's not happening here yeah. very much. That's and people pride stuff. themselves on that. And that's why we, I mean, our little town's getting 20, 25 every day. Water, or South Coast has been getting two or 300 new ones every day, you know, so. What, Trevor? Oh, I was just saying, someone said, do you think that civil war will break out after the election? Mm. I think there will be a lot of shit hitting the fan. Yeah. I, I think um, if, uh, what's his name, if Trump loses, I think there's no way he's not coming out in handcuffs. <laughs> you know? I think really? I don't think so. Stuff. I, I think if he were to lose, I don't think he will lose because I think it's I think we're it's all fucked and it's not really going to, I think he's not losing. But I think were he to lose, he would be, have to be take, removed from office. I think, I think win or lose, the country splits apart. I, I think we you think it's going to actually apart. split in part like yeah I don't I think we're at the end of the experiment I don't think it worked um and uh but that's where I think this cult is going to come in handy because when America <laughs> falters we will rise up and that will be our our time to take over things mm-hmm. someone earlier uh asked uh would you rather fuck your mom or your dad I would fuck my dad cuz then I'd get to see him again <laughs> Oh my Hopefully. God! That's Hopefully. such a cute answer. Yeah. Sam's dad died when he was very young. Right. <laughs> yeah. My dad's dead too, guys. Do I, can I get in on this dead dad fucking bit here? Well, if you want to say goodbye. Yeah. 
That's how my you. Parents, that's the only way you can say goodbye. See, the difference is that, you never really got to meet your dad, so you'd be like, yeah. I, "I'm Sam." I, I could just be like, "Hey, dude, later." Hey, dad. My both parents of them both would have like no street. frame of reference. They would just be pulled back from the other life, and they'd be like, "What is going on? Who is this?" <laughs> Yeah, one minute you're in the afterlife, the next minute you're like in flesh again and a man is fucking you, saying they're your son. <laughs> yeah, heaven's weird. It'd be but... terrifying, right? Because you'd just be like, what is happening? you like, I just this, miss you, man. <laughs> I, really, I just I'm really missed you, dude. miss you, dude. <laughs> if my dad asked me what Dahlicker means, I'd have to tell him to fuck off. Yeah. So somebody... He just said Dahl Liquor has hit Reddit, which is not good. Oh. What the fuck, guys? We started a call for 30 minutes. What does that mean? Hit Reddit? Reddit? Like, I don't, somebody posted We're it? We're talking about it on Reddit. I'm going there right now to see. Mm. Someone's about to go to the roof. <laughs> Someone's going to the roof. Fuck, Mary, Bill, and Ted? Oh. Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Here, I'll share a screen. I'll show you. It doesn't explain it. Okay. Dig it. Here, I got okay. a chance I actually like can that. see. There you go, everybody. I hate that I have to... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't... All right, Trevor, yeah. stop the screen share so I can set this back to normal here. I, I like that, because you're right. It doesn't explain anything. Whoever made that, if you're still here, were you really nervous for, for that one minute? Hey, Trevor, do me a favor <laughs> and stop screen sharing. Yeah. No, I take that back. I'm no longer enraged. I like that. Yeah, are you still screen sharing? No. It looks like you are, dude. I would never. <laughs> huh? You, you, you're not? You are. Someone's screen keeps bopping around. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so go ahead and turn that off. Okay. There you go. Nope, you're doing it again. There we are. There we go. God, that's fucking annoying. Get back. There we go. Hey. No. All right. Man, I can't wait till we have this set up to to do some Warzone sessions. Yeah. I mean, I don't play it, but yeah. <laughs> I'll have to find something to, to stream sometime, like, in the middle of the night when you guys don't know and I can, like, get on here and just, yeah. like... Uh, well, I think I'll, that's the idea. The, the idea is that each of us take different nights, and there's like a Timmy night. Who wants know? to watch me uh, stream that uh, video game that uh, ruined Kurt Schilling's uh, business and like had to get bought by the state of Rhode Island for four years? I, I love that game, King, Kingdoms no of Amalur. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Dude, yeah. people know. You're you're having a there's stroke. This, uh, there's this RPG, Kurt Schilling from the Red Sox uh, had a company and they made this RPG. That, it was pretty generic. It's called King, Kingdoms of Amalur. And it's just you run around and kill monsters. And it's pretty uh, generic, but it's a lot of fun. And it ended up like they, they ended up not paying employees for a while and they all got like shut down. And like, so the property, the game proper, the game, like basically was owned by like the state of Rhode Island for a number of years and some other company bought it. Now they're remastering it and hopefully making sequels and stuff. But yeah, you can still play it on Xbox. And so I have been, it's just kind of funny cause it like has this whole lurid backstory to it, but it's just kind of a, just a game, you know? Um, story. Someone's asking for a political show. Trevor, you and I were talking about doing a show where we just talk about the news. We should do that. Oh yeah, we thought about maybe Friday nights. Does that work? That works for me. Yeah, so Zach and I might do like uh, a, a show on this channel on Friday nights where we just go over the news. But I think what I'm going to do is stop looking at the news can, and can then only really, and then only really look at it on Friday and then kind of be like, "Did you see the shit that happened That's this funny. week?" Like, you know, like if you could really seal yourself off, yeah. I can't help it. I I'm can't such a tough. news freak. All I do all yeah. day is the news. Well, and it's Maybe so that'll be the show on Friday. It's you telling me what happened this week. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Trevor, I mean, you know, you, you're someone who's always paid attention to stuff, though. So how, can you, do you think you can force yourself to do that, though? Yeah. Yeah? Because, yeah. I mean, I feel like, I feel like, you know, 
the whole time I've known you, you've always been someone who paid attention to politics and news and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, this so could how be a good one. I, we could do like two truths and a lie about the news. I could, I could be yeah. like, Trump encouraged everyone to vote once by mail and once in person, which is a felony, true or false. <laughs> and he did it at the podium, you know, like. I yeah I, I know that's true. I know you know that's but true. I also but I'm don't, saying like as an example of like that's a good example. I also but, don't think that could be a felony because that just shows how how much you mean your vote. <laughs> <laughs> if we gave the option to everybody to vote twice, then all right, let's see it. Let's how much do you want these let's people? Let's see how much you like freedom, motherfuckers. <laughs> You, you also, if you're going to play that news game, I think it's unfair to use Trump because it all will be like, well, that's true. Like, there's there's no not true with that, you know? All right. Don't speak bad on our president. I would never. I'm sorry. I would never. I'm sorry, you guys. That was that was really Respect unprofessional. R.I.P. Riley Gale, indeed. Um, uh, Trevor, is Gary about Timmy? No, it is not. What's Gary? That's a song you wrote, right? Song on my uh, on the last album I did, one of the songs wasn't that funny, but I just threw it on anyway. I was like, oh, it's kind of a real song. Oh, oh, cool. And it's not about me. No, it's about it's about friends that you grew up with that have uh, addictions that you don't know that they're going to shake them. Oh, I got a lot of those. So someone, yeah. Someone thought that would be about me. I feel like that was maybe just an oblique hot dog sketch reference, probably is what they were making. <laughs> but that's always my first guess at things. So, how much would we have to pay PayPal to get Timmy to perm his hair? That's a good one. Uh, well, I mean, say not, a high number, I'm, dude. Say a high number. You're right. You're right. Ten thousand no. dollars. Would you do it for five hundred bucks? Yeah. Say a subscriber number at, at some level of su- uh, subscribers. Yeah. Will you perm okay. your hair? Because how funny okay, would it be a hundred thousand subscribers to see you sucking your own dick with a perm? <laughs> well, okay, but for, okay, first, guys, first, dude, I gotta, I gotta learn how to suck my own dick first, and then I gotta learn how to do it with a perm because that could change the whole. There's gonna be a weight and an aerodynamics issue, and then the perm's gonna change that. Right, Sam. What are you? What, what, what's going on? I, I was going to tell everyone on the chat to uh, wait. I've I've got an idea brewing because uh, Timmy just said that he's got to learn how to suck his own dick. Meaning that it's not that he's going to try to suck his own dick at a hundred thousand. He's going to suck his dick. Uh, dude, but, uh, well, yeah, Sam. It's because I fucking care. Yeah, I mean, that means if that we're going to get a hundred thousand subscribers, I'm not going to just make some lame ass attempt. But, Oop, didn't do it, guys. Sorry. No, I'll have. I'll be fucking ready. There's going to be yeah. like hours of you live streaming, struggling to suck your dick. Oh, and like, I mean, I'm going to practice in my room for a while. You know, oh like the night before, God. like the the night we're at like ninety nine thousand. I'm going to go in my room. I'm going to lock the door. I'm going to you know get like a yoga mat set up, and I'm going to fucking figure it out. And then we get to a hundred. Boom. You oh, know. The music oh, goes into. When I this probably happens, like. Music when this happens. I think Slayer, you know, just something real fucking hard and like fast, <laughs> right? Just like that, that's don't just imprisoning me, pull up, you know, just like I'll do it to me to compete, you know, like that kind of Slayer shit. Slayer is the right choice. <laughs> when this happens, we have to make like <laughs> a mini doc about it. What? Like there has to be like a twenty like a twenty minute mini doc about you training like a, a kind of hard knocks of you sucking your own dick. Like we it's hire- like what- I never said I wouldn't tape it, but I'll just tape it by myself, you know, in the room, and then we can look at the footage later. We'll get pros to like help you and like. No, it's it's, it's like when whenever the Olympics. Remember when they used to have Olympics? When uh, Olympics yeah. would go and they'd show a little package of the person before they yeah, go to like do getting you know, ready, like, right? They're like, you know, Jimmy grew up in South Dakota, a town where no one ever sucked their own dick, and then like, <laughs> <laughs> and just footage. <laughs> Just the footage of just me, ah, oh, God, you know, and just throw my back out and be like, God, my fucking gut, just getting really mad at my own body fat because it's in the way. Like, it'll be an entertaining training video. Oh, God. I think Vangelis's cover of uh, Chariots of Fire is a good song for that documentary. Do, 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 do. September 5th, 2020, Timmy's life would change forever. <laughs> 
Do you guys? All right, this person has asked ninety times. Do you guys like The Witcher? Are you talking about the show or the game? The game I Witcher played The Witcher 3. Three. It was good. I haven't seen the show. I loved The Witcher Three. That's what I streamed the most when I streamed and. The ending of the last DLC for The Witcher Three, where he he like looks at the camera and is like, "It's now it's time for me to rest." Like it kind of hit me, like, "Oh my god, it's over!" <laughs> you know, like I loved The Witcher Three. That was really fantastic. I haven't seen the show. All right, and this person has asked thirty times, "Have you seen All Gas No Breaks?" Sam, you like that, that show, right? Uh, that channel, I I check out that channel. Yeah. Uh, can you touch your nipples together? I don't know if you're asking us to touch each other's nipples to each other's or if we can I don't think you can, can force you? our nipples together. Can't I'm already it. trying to suck my own dick. I can't do the nipples thing too. My body's just not that life. Is that how you say that word? Who shoots Zach, the biggest sell your thing? art challenge. I don't know what that means. I think they're saying you should sell your art. Why is this, Why do they keep saying challenge? Because that's how kids talk. When they want you to do something, they say challenge. Oh my God, I'm so end. fucking old. I know, right? It's like they go to Denny's be like, moon over my hammy challenge, but they just mean I'm. they're ordering a sandwich. I could sell something. Someone asked me you know, maybe. Doing. I want to get, I'll sell this thing. Somebody, maybe at a certain subscriber thing, I'll, I'll send you this, something like that. Did donation. you guys like College Humor when it was alive? Oh, that's cool, Zach. Yeah. That's really great. Is that a printer? Is that the original? That's the original. That's great. Someone asked if we liked College Humor when it was alive. Well, I mean, we were like, it, we, we did stuff with those guys a little bit. That was fun. Yeah, I didn't really care. <laughs> I just go through questions, you know. Yeah. Frosted Flakes and Go to Sleep Challenge. Yeah, right? Is. Seriously. That's the kind of thing. You missed it. So I was complaining because I'm 90 years old how if I eat Frosted fl Flakes after 8 p.m., I wake up in the middle of the night, and it happened to me last night. Um, that's that's some old dude shit. No, so, honestly, Zach, same shit with me, okay? So I had a bunch of saltwater taffy last uh -huh. night, like after 8 or 9 o'clock. I couldn't sleep a fucking wink. <laughs> like, I had the worst night last night. It's because I ate a bunch of taffy. That's seriously what happened. What the hell? I go away for a couple seconds and we're back on like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, someone asked Zach, me was me, Zach was filming on the Frosted Flakes thing, and I had the same experience. Like, if I eat sugary shit too late at night, I like can't sleep. And I ate a bunch of taffy last night watching movies. I did a stream thing last night, and afterwards I ate a bunch of taffy. And uh, never didn't ask you to double down on the story, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kidding. I'm just gonna shut. The door. I, Sam, do you have that? Do you? Have, is there, are there things that you eat that'll keep you up? No, I don't know. yeah, <laughs> no. I, I fall asleep all the. I fall asleep too much. <laughs> I fall asleep. I don't, all I don't make it to the movies. I, I just like if I'm sitting in the same place too long, I'm out. Um, someone asked me to take a bong rip. Uh, I don't smoke pot anymore. Someone asked, uh, "What is Timmy's Switch channel?" I don't do that anymore. What else do we not do anymore? <laughs> Holy shit! Are you guys, you guys are now are forty now. What the fuck? Uh, Sam and I are not forty yet. All yeah. right, lay off. Sam's only Sam's not. Sam's younger than me by a little bit. Oh, so Zach and I uh, asked to uh, uh, what we think of Connor O'Malley. He's a, a very funny guy. Here's an interesting fact that most people don't know. Zach and I have the uh, are the exact same age, like to the hour. Yep. Yeah. That's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. That blows my mind. And you know what else is weird is that we knew each other for like almost a year before we put that together. Yeah. And we were born in the same hospital, just different rooms. You were born at the same hour of the day or what do you mean? We were born like an hour apart from each other. In the same hospital next next to each other. Your parents That part's not true, but. Know each other. Uh, I'm trying to find other whose idea. Oh, there, someone has asked uh, roughly 47 million times whose idea was the genie sketch. I don't know. Anybody? It's so funny how people are like whose idea was this, whose idea was that. It's like they're. It's, it's such a strange thing to want to know well, to me. Yeah, it's well, you know. stole it. Get over it. <laughs> 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 whose idea it was, was it? Fucking I don't Bob know. Odenkirk's idea. It was, God. It was the state. <laughs> <laughs> there was some kid. He was a struggling writer. <laughs> uh, do you remember? Remember? So we used to share an office with Michael Showalter and Michael Ian Black, right? 
when uh, yeah. when we were working on one of our seasons. And there, I was. We were very intimidated by them because of the state and all that stuff. And we wrote this sketch. Yeah. We're like we're like twenty five. Yeah, and they they yeah. they had like three shows already at that point on the air. They were like big deal. Big deal. Yeah, we. I I, I grew up watching them. Yeah. Like I love them. I think they're amazing. You're high yeah. watching the state. And we had I this. Never- we wrote this sketch for season three called "The Pope," where it was like about a pope who's like, "I'm the Pope. I'm an Italian Pope," and he's like, "I can't even really remember the sketch." And somebody, yeah, it was, was just like, like it was just like a crude Italian stereotype. That was the joke. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and somebody that worked on our show was like, "I think that like the state had that had a sketch like that." And we were like, oh, well, I'll just go ask them because he's in that room right there. So I remember I went into Showalter and I was like knocked on the door. I was like, hey, man, uh, we wrote this sketch and somebody said it was kind of similar to, to a state sketch. And he's like, OK, what? And I was like, it's about the Pope. And he's got like this big Italian accent. He's like, it's me, the Pope. And, you know, I kind of like did a couple lines from him. And he was just like, it's the same sketch. I was like, <laughs> oh, really? It's, 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 it's similar? He goes, it's the exact same sketch. I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, well, um, I, we won't do it, obviously. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I asked, right? That would have been weird. And he was just like, uh-huh. I was like, okay, well, bye. Uh, thank, thank you. Sorry. Bye. It was the most awkward conversation in the world. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, why were we in Don't Fuck With Cats? That's a good question. We are in that yeah, documentary, Don't, don't, don't Fuck With Cats. That. I've seen people ask that uh, a few times tonight, and... Um, yeah, I mean, it came up. Uh, if you ever want to read it, I, I had a, I, I, a couple weeks after it happened, I typed up a big Twitter thread about it because uh, people kept asking. I'm like, I'm gonna explain it right. Here. But basically, what happened is the guy at some point randomly got a photo off the internet of a wedding and put his face over it to try and convince people that he had been married, right, or something like that, and it ended up being a photo that we're in from a from Darren's wedding, and. Uh, we did, we had no fucking idea until people started telling it to like uh, <laughs> it's just someone sent to me like is this you guys I'm like what and yeah it's like me and Zach are visible right there in the picture in the wedding picture it's very strange yeah somebody just wrote cunting sketch maybe he ha- we do have a sketch about killing cats so maybe he's into that maybe that's part of it yeah, yeah that's probably what they're like <laughs> these guys get me and then we also have a cat a sketch about a restaurant that serves cats yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh shit. Maybe there's more to this than we know. <laughs> Could be. Oh shit. <laughs> Someone said I want to join the Buckerson and Myers cult. Is that what we should call it? The Buckerson and Myers cult? Uh, no, we're the doll lickers. We're the doll lickers. Uh, yeah, that's a secret. Uh, that's a secret uh, word. Oh. Let's not talk about this with that guy around. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, clearly he wasn't there. Oh. Oh. Uh, Someone's asking what you're vaping, Trev. Um, it's just uh, it's cigarette flavored nicotine. Is it really cigarette flavored? <laughs> yeah, because like, everybody does. Everybody like does banana custard, and I'm like, I just don't want to get lung cancer. Like, I just I want I I like cigarettes. I want this cigarette, but I don't want to you know you know die. So. Hey, here, oh, sorry. We do need to make a poop ball shirt. Yeah, I agree. We have we have to have that. Here's a good question. Um, yeah, I think McSorley's. That's a great question. Sorry, um, sorry. Go ahead. No, no. We we can do McSorley's first. I stayed on the question I was gonna get to. Um, did we ever get kicked out? We used to hang out there. I loved going there. But did I don't think we ever got kicked out? Did we? I ate so much ecstasy once there oh, uh, yeah. that uh, I don't even know if I got kicked out. <laughs> Are you making stripes? No, we are not. Um, oh, okay. We at one were. point we were. Right. Yeah. That's something I was going to ask you guys because I forgot about that. Someone asked us, okay, here's the question I was going to get to. I liked it. Oh, do you guys have any, have you ever had any weird or funny conversations with the parents of the children in your sketches? And I feel like one or two of you guys have a good story about like, you know, the, the kid actor's parents. I would not talk to the kid actor's parents. <laughs> no, I never did. Okay. okay. Yeah. Never mind. I know some of the kid actors were interesting people, but as far as their parents, I don't know. I, I, oh, you know what? You know what's a funny story is uh, I think it was like 
I think it was the whale tail sketch where at the end we yes, were like, yep. where we were asking to for them to uh, say like, holy shit, right? That's a holy yeah. shit. As it, and so we're like, right, can we get your kid? Uh, and one of the parents was like, uh, yeah, my kid can say shit. They can say, do you want them to say other stuff? It was like way too <laughs> yeah. eager about it. They'll do other swears. <laughs> They'll say fuck, what do you want? <laughs> He'll, he'll drop so, n bombs. You guys want that? No, dude. <laughs> He's racist as shit. You guys want him to show off? <laughs> oh, dude! Someone just named the kid we're talking about in the chat because I think we talked about this on commentary. Bobby London. Oh, that's not that kid though. That wasn't Bobby London. No. But Bobby, Bobby London, London. Was a goddamn little angel. I love him. Yeah. Beautiful actor. Uh, I see. Um, elaborate on McSorley's ecstasy, please. <laughs> Um, I was just a young kid, St. Patrick's Day. You do what you do. You just uh, eat a bunch of ecstasy. <laughs> it's so funny that you like went to the big bar for well, like one of the big places to go on St. Patty's Day, but did ecstasy. <laughs> well, in college, I used to hang out with a guy who sold ecstasy. Yeah. Uh, remember that guy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who went to jail. Yeah. Dude, he got arrested because he had a garbage bag full of ecstasy, and he got and, and he got stopped on the Brooklyn Bridge. And, uh, and I remember him telling me he was like, "Yeah, I got to go to jail." And I was like, "For how long?" He was like, "For like a long time." And I was like, "It was really awkward." And I was just like, "All right, well, bye." I mean, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what you say. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that is what you said. Uh, yeah. um, like that now, right? I don't think so. No, really? I think it was like a long time. Like, I think it was like, I'm going to be in jail for my life. Because that was, I mean, the story you're telling was at least 16, 17 years ago. So you think he's yeah, still there? It was like a garbage bag full of that. Right, right. I have a, a funny lot. story about that guy because, Trevor, you probably remember this. One time, you and me and one of our other friends were like drinking in New York or whatever and like ended up going to his place in Jersey and staying up real late and getting wasted and stuff and like, we, we woke up and had to get back to the city for some reason to do something. So it was like eight in the morning and, you know, gotten real drunk and everything. I woke up, it's like eight in the morning. He's still sitting there doing whatever drugs he was doing when I went to sleep. <laughs> and he's like, what's up, bro? You hung over, bro? I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty hung over. He's like, you want some ecstasy? I'm like, no, no, I don't. You want some Coke or something? You want to get high? I'm like, no, like, do you have any like coffee? <laughs> and I remember just, like, and I remember he had ferrets everywhere. Yes, there was like I was sleeping on the floor, what, what, and a ferret up? fucking went under my head. Yeah, it was crazy. You know, what woke me up was a ferret licking me in the morning. I'm like, get the fuck, you yeah, know, like, it, like we got to get back to New York. Yeah, that's probably why we left. We didn't have something to do. We're like, uh, I got yeah, we're not getting woken up by fucking ferrets. <laughs> Guys, we got some news. What's but, up? I guess there's six posts about doll lickers on Reddit. Oh I'm Jesus seriously. Christ! We I mean, do they explain it? It's fine if they don't explain it. Dear whitest kids, you know, uh, it's me. Oh, they do like a stand thing. Hmm. And, it, and it says, uh, my girl pregnant too. Guess what? I'll call her doll liquor. Oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> as long as it doesn't explain it, I suppose. Yeah. Someone's oh, asking. Uh... This one's a little, it says doll liquor at the top and then it beta non-cult members. Have you heard WKUK? Who? Chad Cultus, doll liquor, go fuck yourself. That's, that's on the line, but I think that's fine. We got to figure out how to ban people because I feel like someone's going to step over the line, and we cannot be. We if we're gonna if this cult's going to work, we have to rule with an iron fucking fist. <laughs> this one's this one's this one's clever. It says doll, d o l liquor, l i q u o r, and it's little bottles of of jack, like little tiny. This size bottles ejected. I like that. And the first comment is "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah cool. that's good. I like that. That person gets I a promotion. Like, I like, yeah, I like creating something that like people won't understand at all. Good. You know, unless the, you are there. The first hey, rule of doll liquor is you don't Sorry. talk about doll liquor. That's absolutely true. Yeah, but is that giving it away too much? Oh. Due to the reference. First comment, we've got to edge the non-cultists without revealing information. That's pretty revealing. See, this is somebody said if you start a Patreon, you can manage who has access to the cult. You're only oh. a, yeah, we can set up the doll liquor shit that way. <laughs> hey, we yeah. gotta be on we gotta be on YouTube and Twitch and Patreon. I think so. Dude, I you have to have everything. Yeah, when, like yeah, it's it's I'm not uh, 
TikTok. That's it's where I draw the line. No, I'm not doing TikTok. Isn't that how China spies on you? Isn't that the thing? <laughs> what is the what is the rumor about TikTok? I really like that this guy's favorite line from any sketch is scratch my nose. Come on, I have no arms here. That's funny to me. <laughs> hey, this person has an interesting question. Was the garbage bag full of ecstasy guy the inspiration for Gallon of PCP? I don't think no, he was, I but so. I like the no, idea. We hung like out with a head. lot of people who had a lot of drugs. So I don't yeah. think it was like any one. Yeah, yeah the, uh, <laughs> the drug dealer with ferrets was not the sole yeah. <laughs> character like that. <laughs> We're not the best judges of character. <laughs> no. But on the other hand, we have lots of fun stories. <laughs> Bunch of nuts. Oh, I think I got to go to bed, you guys. I got... I got to wake up and help broadcast church tomorrow. That's true. Broadcast think, church? Dude, I do it. Uh, well, you know, I, I one of my, guy. yeah, I'm, I'm a radio guy. And one of my jobs is I uh, go to the radio station on Sunday morning and wait for the church to call me and I plug them in so they can broadcast church to the old people. And you think that no one will listen to it, right? Yeah. But the few times where it didn't work and I just went back to regular music. And by the way, the station I work for, we don't play hard music. It's like classic rock, whatever, soft rock. So one time the church wasn't working, so I was just playing songs while I was trying to get the church thing back on. And this guy calls. He's like, I was trying to listen to church today. It's a goddamn rock concert. It's like, well, first of all, this is a radio station. You know, like there's going to be music. And it was like fucking like uh, Kenny Rogers. It's like, this is not a rock concert. <laughs> Do you think your station would let us uh, broadcast, like, if our cult got a church? Like, if we started having, like, sermons, like, do you think we could get them on the video in South Dakota, like, once a week? We could maybe work something out. <laughs> we did let, when, when churches, when we cared about, when South Dakota, when Watertown cared about COVID for about 10 days, uh, we did have multiple other churches doing broadcast right so there was a few times there where i was actually going in on, the, on a sunday morning and like i was there for like five hours to do a bunch of different churches but like so maybe we could squeeze in there you know we'd have to lie and say we're christian you know we'd have to pretend it was like a church you know well it could be yeah i know but we'd have to say we'd have to like pretend we're like a you know the church that people like out here they only like christian stuff you know so we'd have to like have a cross on something just as a lie oh Worst experience with a fan in real life. Trevor, that guy that showed up at the live show. What do you mean? Who waited in line, and then, like, when he got to you, and remember what he said? I, I, I want you to tell it, not me. I don't remember it. Yeah, the guy who was, like, said he was going to kill you. Good. Oh, going to kill me? Oh, I, but, uh, yeah, that bad. Um... I, I actually had one worse than that. Though. Wait, tell that one and then tell the worst one. Well, no, I mean, it's just it's just like I, I had a, a crazy guy like that. I had to like basically get like FBI involved kind of thing. Like, kind of yeah. like uh, He's like, I'm the one that's going to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Every now and <laughs> then I get that? those. Guys. <laughs> I wonder if that guy's on this oh. chat right now. Hey, if you are, what's I, up, doll that's liquor? Why I don't feel, that's why I don't yeah. feel comfortable. Talk about it. Like, that guy me, being doll liquor? He saw me clam up real fucking quick. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Skip. All right, what's your other? Oh, what's a... the other story? I mean, that, no, was, no, so, that, that was... was like 15 years ago. So in my mind, it's like it didn't exist. Right. There's a recent one. Oh. Ooh. Man. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. I had to come up, a guy come up to me once at a biker bar in Oregon and tell me that if I wasn't funny doing stand up, he was going to stab me. And then he ended up loving the show, but I never found out if he was joking or not. I'm going to guess he was joking. Yeah, probably. But it was a rough place. I don't know if I've had like a, I don't know. I had this one experience uh, and where I was at a, at a concert and this this girl came up to me, very nice girl, and she was like, like, Hey, oh, you're from that Whitest Kids show, right? And I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, oh, nice. And there was this other guy who was right next to her who goes, who wasn't with her, goes, oh, my God, you're from Whitest Kids? I knew it. I knew it. And, like, immediately takes over the conversation. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then uh, 10 minutes, like, later, he, he comes up to me and goes, 
I want to wear your ass like a hat. <laughs> I was like, Ex- excuse me? And he's like, I want to wear your ass like a hat. I go, okay. And he goes, I just wanted to say something that you'd remember me forever. Uh, it worked, man. It worked. You got to give it we to him. Are. I guess it worked. Not exactly I, a good thing, though. Uh, I just... Oh, people keep asking if my mustache is drawn on. Yes, it is. It's because I, I, the beginning of the scream had a Dr. Disrespect costume. Oh, okay. I had a dude come up to me once, drunk at a bar, and he's like, hey, man, I'm really drunk. I just want to say, uh, you know, big fan of Wise Kids really liked it. I go, cool. Thanks, man. Thanks for being a fan. That's really cool. And he goes, okay, whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I'm pissed at me. I was like, <laughs> like That's what? Funny. That's really funny. That's a cool thing to do to somebody when you wake it is, up. It is really funny. And, and I actually tweeted the next day. I said, hey, just so you know, people, if you ever come up see me somewhere and say hi, I like the show, and I say thank you, like I mean it. <laughs> like, I guess I have to clarify that because he was, he was all pissed and he like left and like didn't talk to him. He was like, sorry, man. And it was just – it was in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It was like, you know, I knew almost everybody there. He's probably – we probably had mutual friends, but he was just like, yeah, ugh. It's like, f- okay, whatever. <laughs> like, backed off. <laughs> uh, someone just asked uh, about the weird bug documentary on Netflix. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, so really quick, uh, uh, I was dating this girl, and she has like a an, a, an art thing uh, to be involved in these art shows. There are all these themed art shows. She would uh, – get these dead beetles from china she would order them online and she would dress them up there was this jurassic park dead art show and she dressed up the dead beetles like characters from jurassic park and sold them and uh someone they got popular online someone found out about it and contacted her about uh being on their tv show i was like yeah i don't know I, it's it's weird i i don't i'm not really but and she's like it'll be good for me and so i like it was like okay and then we shot this thing and it was so weird and fake where they had us keep making stuff up like they were like oh we need you to like we need conflict we need you to like not like that she like have her approach you about wanting to raise spiders in the apartment and but don't be okay with it and so we got in this fake argument on camera over everything and then it happened it went away it didn't come out like I heard it about about it in Australia, and then five years later, someone <laughs> on Instagram hit me up and was like, "Are you on this bug show?" I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And they told me it's called Extreme Animal Obsessions, and then it just came out on Netflix. When they told me it was, we were the first segment on the first episode. <laughs> that means they <laughs> thought you guys were in the best segment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And the whole the whole thing was either me sitting on the couch in the background because I was like, yeah, I'll you can do this, but if, if I can just still watch TV, <laughs> me, like, you- lazily sitting on the couch, and then uh, and then me being like, uh, I don't agree with anything that makes you happy, and uh, <laughs> it's my job to get in the way of your happiness. So it's just me being a bad. Friend. My name's Sam. I fucking hate bugs. That's <laughs> something about me. Like, no, I think there literally was the line like, "It's my job to make sure she's not happy at all times." Wow. Did uh, now were you guys still together when that finally came out? No. <laughs> so is that weird? Did you have to call? Did you, was there a phone call where you were like, "Hey, our, our bug thing with our fake fight is out"? <laughs> uh, I think it's a text at that point. You know. Oh, okay. Do you guys still talk? Yeah. yeah, I mean, like we we have mutual friends. We see each other around. Hmm. Trevor, do you have another? Do you have more music coming out? People are asking. Um, I am not making an album right now, um, but I have a, a a music project that I'm working on. Someone asked, uh, "What's what's our biggest fear?" I'd see, hmm. uh, like loneliness or death. One of those two. Uh, I've always COVID? been terrified of waking up blind. Being waking up forever. blind. Wow. Yeah, that I mean that'd be fucking terrifying, right? Yeah. Still got music. I think my biggest fear is is um. I'm much uh, more a visual guy than an aural guy, though. You know. Sorry, Trevor. Eternity. What? Eternity. Eternity. The idea. 
eternity. The idea that uh, you can't, that there is no end to anything. That's my biggest fear. Yeah. Dude, like, so you, you die and you think you're done and then it's like, nope, now you're at this place forever. Like that kind of well, thing. I remember, I remember as a kid, I would be like, you know, because I, I was grown, I grew up in a, a very religious Christian yeah. household. And so the idea of living for eternity, I was always like, as a kid, I was like, the thing that made me feel good is like, all right, if I, when I die, if I go to heaven, I'll just wait in line to talk to God. It'll probably take forever because everyone's going to want to talk to him. Uh, but I'll wait, but whatever, it's eternity. I got forever. And then when I get to him, I'll be like, hey, can I just not exist? Like, that would be like a nice, that that because the idea of being around forever is terrifying. Mm. I was, a. Uh, I mean, you've never, you've always been, you know, like all you know is being. No, I wasn't. I started in 1980. But like, <laughs> you, you don't remember before that. You don't remember nothingness. So that it's means a, all, all you know in your head is, uh, is existing, right? Like that's yeah. the only thing you've ever been, for, that's the only state you've no, ever been familiar with. I'm fine with that. As long as my individual consciousness gets to take a nap at the end. I'm good. Right. I get yeah. you. So, so you'd be okay with like a zombie situation. So you're okay. Well, like going back to two hours ago, you're okay with the the whole DNA cloning you later in space because that's not really going to be you you yeah. consciousness wise. That's going to exactly. be your body with another existence inside of it. Yeah, I want my consciousness to stop. I I got it. I I'd like a reading a. It's a just. It's like a comedy <laughs> fantasy novel kind of thing. But it's about that. Like about a guy that becomes like ghost you know and it's an egyptian style kind of place where they build a pyramid for you and you're supposed to live there forever after you die and they're like i don't want to do that i just want to be done you know they somebody see, somebody just see, just said combo too deep go back to frosted flakes that's what i was laughing at i knew when you laughed that you were laughing at that comment <laughs> combo too deep go back to frosted flakes yo wait i like that i also that say we are in cult territory here folks yeah man Thesis Hut has asked like, so many times, what's your favorite war crime? I don't even know what to do with that question. I don't know what that means. Uh, ignore it, because there's a few questions I've been ignoring that they keep asking. It's like, all oh, right, there's too many. Well, what are the war crimes? <laughs> Is oh, there a boy. list? Are we going down this road? I mean... Are we going to count them down like a VH1 show? <laughs> yeah, top 10 war crimes. I guess... What, like, like, it was Gaddafi, the mid-80s. The pool pot got himself into a real Kurds, goofy right? sketch. That was a big one. You can't, you can't, you can't kill you can't your prisoners. Or that's right, Saddam. Right. I'm terrible. <laughs> Someone said, what do you think is Tony the Tiger's opinion on the afterlife? <laughs> it's grrr. No, you get the joke. I'm not even going to finish no, it. No, Zach, I liked it. That was good. Was that Boner? Oh, Boner Honk Farts asked that question. She's a, she's She was a... Always on my streams too. Sup, Boner. Favorite horror guys, movie? We just we did that earlier, man. We like, can't do it again. Like an hour ago. You Scroll back, you'll get it. Somebody, uh, Naughty One Six Nine Six says, "Doll liquor, everyone. I'm going to bed. Good night, Good Naughty night, One Six. Doll liquor. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Should we doll liquor this? Should we wrap it up? Yeah, I'm kind of ready to doll liquor. Okay. I think this was fun. Yeah, I had a good time. Thanks, Chad. Oh, Thanks oh, everybody blast. for coming yeah. and watching. It's like fun. really fun to hear and read you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourselves. Yeah, go everyone. fuck yourselves, everybody. Uh, we'll do this again next weekend. We don't know what day next weekend, but we'll announce it at some point this week. Will we have the Will we have uh, doll liquor robes designed yet? <laughs> yeah, we should all we should all come up with a doll liquor outfit. Um, Show up with fucking face tattoos and robes on. <laughs> no, no, no. That defeats the purpose. We can't talk about doll liquor. It's got to be just a verbal, like, okay. you know, it's like a secret Mason handshake. Well, okay. are we going to talk just... about doll liquor next week? No. 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 We, we can come up with a new thing next week, though. And so that, that way we can tell how long people have been with us. Okay. Yeah. And that'll be incentive for people to come back to find out what the new thing is. Yeah. Somebody says, "Do we have Dollar. homework?" Yeah, I, do. I would love to have a fun thing for next. I don't know. I don't know. Let me think. Yeah, yeah let's we come up with some for next time. I would love to. You mean give people an assignment? I feel like yeah. we kind of well, did that. You no, know, what's cool is that we we yeah. talked about the art, and then everyone did really amazing art. Yeah, there's some really awesome stuff. I know. Can we do something like that? What would that be? Like, we could do fan fiction. We yeah. could do like. Do like. Hear me out. It's all gonna be like er erotic shit. I... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Hear me out. That we can't show porn stuff on here. 
No, 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 no. But it's, it's audio. It's like it's words. You're so talking about erotic literature, Trevor. It's an art form. Erotic literature uh, involving us. <laughs> it, it's all got to be behind the scenes. It's not our characters. It's like. Oh, uh, it's like. What are, we gonna, fucking... are we gonna read stories? Yeah, on we're the not Twitch? doing that. We're not reading. Not we're idea. not doing yeah. that. Right. Sam, you and I can. What, let's do Tuesday nights. Uh, Fireside Literatica with Sam and Timmy. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah. That's actually really funny. Hey, you we'll, guys we'll can read. do your sexy pasta, not creepy pasta. Sexy pasta. <laughs> sexy pasta. Oh, I, I know. I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. We have a a, a brand new Buckerson and Myers episode coming out Tuesday. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we will review uh, if people do fan art from this episode of Buckerson and Myers, we will read, uh, we'll review fan art from that episode. How about that? On the next yeah. live stream. Cool. That's a good idea. Yeah, that work? yeah. And here, here's okay. a little, little preview. Uh, let's remember as we, as they were left off, Buckerson Myers, uh, um, uh, but was like, Hey, should we go to a strip club? Right. 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 That's where we left off where it starts all right all right all right everybody this was awesome we'll do it again go fuck yourself yes. go fuck yourselves Thanks, guys. Go fuck yourself. all right later dudes Thanks.